Okay, now see this? This is going to be one of the craziest videos you've ever seen. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 Mods. Introducing, hell, Team Ultra Instinct everybody. Everybody has Ultra Instinct, and when I mean everybody, I mean everybody. You guys may remember this very old ISO that I did sometime between the summer and the fall, and we're back at it once again, guys, the end of 2019. Let's not waste any more time and begin again. If you guys are new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. More importantly, guys, I need you all to take one second to just hit this video up with a big fat like down below, and uh, look at this. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna kick things off like this, right? We have UI Goku, UI Vegeta, we're gonna add UI DBS Broly, and the reason why I say that is because, well, you'll see. We're gonna add him, of course we're gonna add uh, MUI Vegito, and I think the final MUI character, there are so many, uh, I think, oh, you, oh hell yeah, Ultra Instinct Cumber, C come on, man! I mean, only in 2019, look at this lineup. So, I want to go on ahead and battle against Ultra Instinct Goku Black, right? Now, remember earlier I said DBS Broly? Well, we have two incarnations. We have DBS Broly and we have Dragon Ball Z's Ultra Instinct Broly. Can you imagine the power, man? Okay, so we added Vegito. Who else do we have here? We have to have a plethora of characters just having UI. We have Kefla. Kefla also has Ultra Instinct. If you guys want to see more of the Ultra Instinct, slap a big fat like on this video. I think... Oh, who is this? Is this Bardock? Bardock has Ultra Instinct? Wow. Okay, we're going to throw in Bardock. And I think the last person... What am I going to add? Trunks? Does he have it? Yeah, he has it too. Wow. Okay. This is a tad bit different. I mean, does Kale have it? I'm sure she has it too. Holy crap, she does. Wow. I might do Kale. In one of many ways. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I might do Kale or I might do... There are so many characters. You know what? Actually, yeah. I'm going to add Kale. I'm going to add Kale just for shits and giggles. And we're going to fight on the Prison Planet map. Guys, if you guys missed out the previous videos, be sure to check them out down in the description box below. Also, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. All the links will be located down below. And we're getting ready for 2020, a brand new decade. From 2010 up until now, I need you guys to reflect and look back and say to yourself, you know what? Did I go as far as I wanted to be, or at least did I put in all the work that I originally intended? And looking back within the last 10 years, do you guys think you all accomplished what you wanted to accomplish? And what are some of your goals for 2020? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, guys, subscribe to my other gaming channel. It's called Unreal Royale. You guys will find that link down below. We've been doing lots of Dragon Ball content on there. Dokkan Battle, Legends, Heroes, Budokai, Xenoverse, all types of other games. Black is kicking my butt right now. And I need you guys to let me know right now. If Goku Black, Ultra Instinct, right? If he fought against Son Goku Ultra Instinct, I need you guys to let me know as to who would win and why. Oh, did we dodge? We dodged. Oh, yes. Son Goku. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. This is, uh, this is extremely difficult right now, bro. I, I, I wasn't, I, oh my goodness. Okay, this is, this is way more difficult than I originally thought because it looks like Goku Black is about to, like, one-shot me, and I'm not having it right now. If this dude wants to fight... Trust me, I am bringing the fight to him right now because the last thing this dude wants to do is wage war with Son Goku. Oh, yo, you keep blocking, Home Biscuit. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. This is my chance. Oh, yes. You see the speed? Do you see the speed on this man, bro? I need you guys to let me know between all of the Ultra Instincts that you guys just saw me pick right now, right? I need you all to let me know which one would be, would be the strongest and essentially which one do you think would be the deadliest? That would be something very interesting to take note of. Alright, so, also guys, new brand new merch in the uh, description box below, guys. Check that out, and uh, I hope you guys just have a good time supporting these, because you guys have really boosted the channel up a lot this year, and I have to thank all of you for all of your support, for all of your love, for the fan mangas, for the mods. You guys are awesome. You guys, have, you guys are really, really awesome people, so thank you all so much for everything. Okay, what I'm not thankful of right now is getting my hiney kicked by this dude because this dude black right now he knows he knows yo it's the holiday season home biscuit it's cold as hell out oh is he switching oh shit it's broly all right you know what who did i oh i swapped out with vegeta 
Oh, oh, come on, Vegeta, come on. All right, so guys, DB, uh, DBZ Broly, right? DBZ Ultra Instinct Broly versus DBS Ultra Instinct Vegeta. I, I would say Vegeta for obvious reasons, but you're going to have people say, no, man, you know, Broly would stomp out, you know? So I genuinely want to know if you guys think that Broly would stomp or if you guys think Vegeta would stomp. Because this right now, this, this, is, this is a battle, and trust me, everybody on this ISO has Ultra Instinct, even the villains, I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe the Hakaishin, that would be pretty cool though, I have yet to see an ISO where the Gods of Destruction have Ultra Instinct, that would be pretty nice, I think, I think that when looking at it, that would be presentable in so many different ways, oh crap, oh crap, alright, Vegeta is getting butchered right now, you know what, okay, you wanna play? It's time to play, the real Broly has arrived, oh my god, Alright guys, we have Broly versus Broly. Let me know in the comment section below, who are you guys rooting for? DBS Broly or DBZ Broly? Because a lot of people, believe it or not, they have their preferences. They, they're gonna say, oh man, you know, DBZ Broly was better. Oh no, DBS Broly was better. I wanna know. Because I think in terms of ruthlessness, yes, DBZ Broly was better in terms of ruthlessness. But in terms of character, in terms of growth, in terms of actually giving a damn about the character, DBS Broly is a lot better. So Dragon Ball Super Broly is a lot better than DBZ Broly, I think. And if you want to disagree, that's fine. But um, I, I just think that the way they portrayed him was really, really good. Oh, crap. Does he have full power? No, you don't. You will be the first to die. All right, let, let's see if I can take him down, man. And with all the stuff that happened with Vic Mignogna this year, like, everything was just crazy. But you know what? We all have to be thankful that more Dragon Ball is coming, you know, no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, in 2020 and beyond that. Oh, my. Did you see that? Yo, we are destroying. How does it feel, non-canon me? How does it feel? Can you imagine? I Yo, they need to make a fan manga of this. Broly versus Broly. DBS Broly versus DBZ Broly. That would be so neat. That, that would be like, that would be really neat, actually. All right. Oh, oh, did you see that counter? Did you see that beautiful counter? It's over, buddy. It is over for you. Oh, okay. Never mind. I talked a lot of crap right there. Okay. <laughs> I talked a lot of crap just for him to step out of the way. Okay. Touche. Touche, other me. This is pretty crazy, though. I mean, someone in the comments said, yo, man, is it possible for you to do an all UI battle? And I said to myself, is it possible? I don't really think so. Kefla. Ooh, yes, Kefla. All right. So, Kefla, I think, uh, she needs some respect. She's a very intimidating figure. She's not, like, the strongest in the universe, but, I mean, God. Her power, her power as displayed in the T.O.P. was very impressive. However, Kefla versus Broly, I need you guys to let me know. I want you guys to let me know because I posted several polls on my Instagram, which you guys can follow me at, UnrealDBZ, at UnrealDBZ. Uh, and a lot of people were like, oh, you know, Broly stomps, whatever, but then you had some people arguing in favor of Kefla. So, oh my god. But UI Kefla versus UI Broly, I mean, I need you guys to let me know. She's actually kicking the crap out of me right now. This is, uh, come on, Broly, don't get stomped by her. Oh, damn, yo, she is, look at that, she's like one-shotting me with like a finger and stuff, like what in the world is going on here? But again, I want to thank you all so much for everything, and I mean, legit, I mean, for supporting my other channels, for supporting my main channel, uh, after all the Shueisha strikes, after everything that's happened, I gotta say thank you all so much, man, like, if, if I can give you guys a hug, and I'm not even bullshitting you, if I can give you a hug, I would. Um, anybody that's met me at, uh, Anime, at, well, not Anime Expo, I was gonna say Anime Expo, I wish I went to Anime Expo, uh, Comic Con, or Kameha Con, if you guys ever see me again, just stop by, say hello, I would love to meet you guys, I met a lot of you guys before, and it was really, really, you know, it was really soothing, it was very awesome to meet a lot of people to, you know, that, that, that have different opinions, different view sets, you know, we talk Dragon Ball, we discuss certain things, it's, it's a pretty chill vibe. So thank you all so much for always believing in me, for believing in my content, and for always being number one and just straight up with me. All right, what's going on here? Oh, Son Go. Oh, we, we have a a Kefla versus Goku rematch. Ta 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 ta. I'm getting down. I'm getting my ass kicked, bro. Uh, this would be interesting. I need you guys to let me know. Kefla UI Kefla or UI Son Goku. I need you guys to let me know. Hashtag Goku or hashtag UI Fusion. Is she gonna is she gonna boil me? Oh, she is. Okay, Kefla. All right. I see the way you want to do things. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at this fight. Look at this fight. 
We are beating the dog piss out of each other, and she's winning. She's winning. Kefuda, come on, Son Goku, destroy her. And you know what? Sometimes, like, this game, it has more of an impactful roster than, like, Xenoverse or, you know, Fighters. Thank God she's dead. Who's next? Oh, it's my father. My father. By the way, guys, if you guys have missed out some of the uh, fan mangas involving Bardock beating Goku and stuff, there's several incarnations on my channel. Check them out because they're very heartbreaking. I mean, if you're a parent and you sacrificed your life to, to you know, to give away your child just to see them survive, just, just to wanting them to survive, it, it was very sad to see what happened. You know, because there are certain mangas that, you know, have a really good story with what they want to tell involving, like, Goku, Gohan, blah, blah, blah. So when Bardock met Gohan and Goten and Goku and Chi-Chi, it was really sad, you know, because imagine being a parent and you sacrificed your own life, you know, in hopes of seeing your child grow up. You know, it was really satisfying to see Bardock look back and say, wow, you know, your mother did say you'd be a late bloomer and I'm very happy that, you know, you've become the person that you've become and take care of your family. It's, it's, it's very sad, you know what I'm saying? So... You guys really supported that on the channel a lot, too, so thank you all so much for that. Uh, oh my, oh my god, Bardock, no! He punched me in the back of the head, dude. That's kind of cheap. Oh, it's Vegeta. Hello there, Bardock. Can you, uh, yo, listen, I would love, like, I would personally love to see Bardock encounter Vegeta, just to be like, oh, so you're King Vegeta's son, right? Like, that little pest. You are always a pest, blah, blah, blah. And just for Vegeta to be like, well, I'm not the, I'm not the same person, you get what I'm saying? Like... You're talking all this crap, but you, you get to understand that I'm not the same person. And, and Vegeta's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not. But having having a Bardock, whoa. What in the world just happened? Did the entire game just freeze? I hope to God it didn't. Oh my God. I think it froze. Holy crap, guys. I think the game froze. Are you kidding me? I, I, I think the game froze. No! Oh no, the game fro- The game had to have froze. No! Okay, so check it out, guys. My entire computer crashed, but I promise you, it's not the end. Because I added a few more, I, I guess you could say characters, new characters per se, and I need to rekindle my passion in kicking Bardock's ass right now. Because this is crazy. Right in the middle of battle, my entire computer just got the blue screen of death. And I have, I thank God, I was able to recover my audio and my video for this, but... I'm gonna go on ahead and unleash hell on Bardock, and if, if this is because of Bardock, dude, then I am gonna be so pissed, because I'm gonna finish him off, I, I'm gonna finish him off right now. To avoid me getting any blue screen of death, I'm gonna finish Homeboy off right now. But I did include a few new characters, guys, so hopefully uh, this is going to set the precedent going forward. Alright, Bardock's finished, I'm, I'm getting rid of him right now, I, I can't afford to have this guy linger around do his own thing. He murdered his son just now, so the hell with that. Vegeta son. That's right, Vegeta. Kicking the ass of the man who uh, had the only amount of balls to step up against Frieza and his army during the time. But, like I said before, guys, I want to thank you all so much for the year 2020 and going forward. I do plan on giving you guys lots of new content, lots of awesome content. Yes, Dragon Ball related. Oh, Christ, it's Kefla. Vegeta versus Kefla. That would have been cool. I would have enjoyed seeing that in the Tournament of Power if it actually happened, but, you know, it is what it is for the most part, but I do want to let you guys know a few things. Number one, in the foreseeable future, I'm not sure when, I, I'm really not, but it's really important that you guys hear this out. So, going forward, maybe next year, maybe the year after, maybe the year 2022, I don't know, but in the future, I am going to be giving you guys more content outside of Dragon Ball. And no, this doesn't mean I'm going to stop Dragon Ball, not even close. But I want to cover Marvel, DC, I want to cut, uh, cover other anime, other games on this channel. So in the future, yes, I do plan on introducing Marvel, you know, fan comic reviews, DC stuff, like all, like things of that nature. But by no means does this mean that I'm, I'm gonna abandon Dragon Ball, not even close. Let me just substitute this. Oh, Vegito, it's over. Oh my god, this is, this, oh my goodness, dude. I'm gonna kick the crap out of her. Uh, if I, if I can survive. Yo, damn, Vegito just going in right now with the attacks. But yes, 
So I want to know if you guys are going to be okay with that because as a content creator, I don't want to just be limit, uh, li limited to just Dragon Ball. As a content creator, I don't want to be limited to just Dragon Ball, but a lot of us do do what we do because of the algorithm. I mean, we're all basically slaves to the algorithm and that sucks, you know? Like there was a time way back in the day where we used to do almost anything whenever we wanted and we never got in trouble with the algorithm. The algorithm never destroyed your channel per se. Oh my god, is Kefla gonna one-shot me? Dude, she did. What the hell is going on? How is she stronger than Vegito? This makes no con this makes no sense at all, man. But yeah, so just to let you guys know, I am going to be covering lots of different incarnations of like comics and stuff like that uh, in the future. So just in case you guys start seeing random videos that are different uh, different to Dragon Ball, I don't want you guys to think, oh no, you know, he's, he's stopping Dragon Ball. Not even close. I love Dragon Ball to death. Uh, but there are so many other things I want to do. Like, for example, kaiju manga. I, I'm a huge fan of Godzilla, right? I'm a huge fan of Godzilla. I'm a huge fan of, like, movies like Pacific Rim with, like, monsters and stuff. I'm a huge fan of, uh, you know, comics. Marvel, DC, you know, stuff like that. I'm a huge horror fan, you know, Freddy, Michael, Jason, Pinhead, Leatherface, you know, the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers and stuff. So I want to do that in the future. I'm just letting you guys know right now. I'm not sure if you're going to remember this or not, but if you do, thank you so much. Um, and I really hope you guys support me in this journey in the long run when I do bring you guys this content. All right, let me swap out real quick. Who am I swapping out with? Who do I have here? Oh, Vegeta again. Dude! Vegeta versus Kale. Oh, what the hell is that? Dude, oh my god, okay. We're gonna have to focus. Focus. Kale. Let me see. Uh, listen, Kale versus Vegeta would have been nice. Again, so many missed opportunities from the Tournament of Power. And we did a video discussing, like, the Tournament of Power 2, in which all you have to do in the search bar is just type in Tournament of Power 2. We discussed so many hypothetical concepts, so many ideas, so many great things they could do in the long run, you know, and, and being that 2019 is basically over, and I'm not sure if you guys are going to watch this video in the future, you may or may not, I don't know, but if you do, oh yes, Kamba, Cumber, dude, he is, I love Cumber, I went on record saying this a million times, Cumber's one of my favorites, like, he's just a beast, I love this dude, um, but yeah, so like, you know, they, they had so many missed opportunities with this that it's really unfortunate, I think at least. Uh, I don't know if certain people are going to say, oh man, it's it's a good thing they didn't have Vegeta fight Hid or Vegeta fight Kale and blah, blah, blah. I disagree. I mean, they could have done so many great things, but I'm sorry, Cumber, Ultra Instant Cumber, he's a beast. I don't know what's wrong with his face though, but, you know, he's a monster. He would, I think he would bolo everybody here, minus probably Vegito, but like, Jesus Christ, man. Ultra Instinct Cumber would be a freak of nature, like, like, no, no stopping this dude at all. But again, I, I, I want to express my gratitude, I want to thank you all so much for just watching and enjoying this. I'm one of the very few Dragon Ball YouTubers that have been doing, uh, Tenkaichi 3 frequently, you know what I'm saying? Like, frequently. Um, I've been doing Tenkaichi mods for the longest, so, yo, she beats me up and then she flies a Trunks? Is that Ultra Instinct Trunks? It is. Okay, kid, listen up. You couldn't even save your own future, and you want to come up in here with your little sword, and you want to try to slash and dash and cut a hole in my ass. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. But what I, I'll tell you what will work. I'm going to go on ahead and step it up real quick. I'm going to go on ahead and get right in front of your face, and I'm going to hit you with one of the biggest attacks. I don't know what that is, like a Hakai. Whatever the hell it is, it's huge, and uh, it's, it's very powerful and effective right now. So, But again, thank you all again. Um... I, I, I know it's kind of weird that I've been plugging the merch like only in the last month when I had brand new merch for quite some time now But if you guys want to cop some merch to support the channel, uh, it would really mean a lot to me And if you guys do, uh, tweet at me and I will retweet your tweet And I, it's always important to follow people on Twitter or Instagram Like I said before, Instagram at UnrealDBZ Or my personal Instagram which is at UnrealStudios It would mean the world to me Listen, you don't want no smoke homie, don't, don't You saw that? Don't, don't get into my direction, homie. I will freaking light you up like a Christmas tree. Let me swap out. Who do I have now? All right, Vegito. We have Vegito versus Turanksu. And the thing is, too, uh, the thing about Trunks is he always comes back into the past and he's always bitching about something. Tosan Goku! Like, hey, there's, always, there's always a problem. It's like, dude, you could never, ever handle a problem on your own. And that's quite sad, actually, if you ask me. Um, and also, one thing I did tell you guys before, 
I am planning on doing a, uh, a massive video, I think by the end of the month. Uh, it's gonna be like maybe an hour long video. I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to remove certain ISOs. So there are certain games that you will see. There are certain ISOs you won't see. Um, and to that, it's gonna be like one giant, like, you know, Tenkaichi video. You know, for, for like, for the year recap, I guess you could say. Or, or like this giant finale, whatever. So if, you, um, uh, it, it's not, it's not a matter of if, but when. Uh, when I do that, I hope you guys, you know, just enjoy it. Uh, watch through and just, you know, have a good time doing so. But more importantly, uh, more importantly, like, like, like I said before, uh, the most important thing to do is to always leave a like on the video. It supports the content creator, it supports the channel, uh, and, and it really lets people know that, that you actually care, that people actually care about the content. So, who's next? Is, is it Goku Black? It is Goku the Black. I, again, another one of my personal favorites, my boy Black. He should have never have fused with Zamasu, man. That was a travesty. That was certainly a travesty. This man could have been a machine of death. And Merge Zamasu was pretty dope. Merge Zamasu was pretty uh, satisfying. But I mean, in the long run, it's like, what did he do? Like, I, it's just, I don't know. Ooh, okay, he's one, I'm one, two. All right, look at this, look at this. Oh, 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 he's countering, I counter two. Oh, listen, you're fighting the superior fighter here, man. Oh, is he dodging? He is. I can't see a single thing. Everything's just like a cluster right now. Fight new to Kamehame, it's over. Yep, it's over. Am I gonna affect him greatly? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go on ahead and just use more of my power. I'm gonna finish this. Cause Kale's next. I, I really do believe Kale's last. Uh, she has to be the last one on the hits uh, on the uh, hit squad. So, oh yes, Ultra Instinct Gohan, my man. Where have you been all throughout Super? This was he was one of the most underwhelming characters ever. This dude Gohan, man. Can you imagine Ultimate Gohan versus Goku Black? Can you imagine Ultimate Gohan versus Hit? Can you imagine Ultimate Gohan versus Jiren doing anything? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. So you know what? I'm gonna give this fight to Gohan. I'm gonna slaughter Kara. It's done, man. It is oh oh, she countered! What the hell? Okay. She got that Migate power, bro. My god. Either way, guys, it looks like this is essentially the end. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoy, like I said before, make sure that you guys slap this video up with a big fat like. Share the channel, guys, if you guys want to see more. Tune back in for more. Check out the official playlist located down below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Listen, it always gets so tiring saying all these things. Uh, so, which in case, I hope that all my regulars out there already know. And to all my regulars, man, I love you guys to death. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh my, can you hold still? Can you like, can you like hold still? Hold still, woman. It's, it's over. Yep, come on, Gohan. Yeet! Oh, damn. Alright, can we finish her off, please? Can, can we, can we put her out of her misery? Come on, Gohan. All we need. I think, I think. All we need is, oh, shit! All we need, I think, is like one more attack. One more big attack. For us just to be like, alright, that's that that's gonna be her final hoorah. Yo, she's getting the better of me right now, dude. I'm gonna get desperate. Oh god, please hit her with that attack. Oh yeah, I'm getting desperate. I am getting desperate too. Go on! Oh nice counter, boy! Oh it's yeah, she's finished. She's finished. Oh Kamehameha through the back, man. It is done! Game set match. The end of 2019. Right there. Super Kamehameha, man. That was crazy. Either way, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for listening. Tune back in for the next video. Subscribe to Unreal uh, Royale. Subscribe to Unreal Vlogs. Subscribe to Unreal Network, guys. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you all once more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys. Peace! This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god! The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> What, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>